Hello everybody, welcome. My name is Chef Rob. We're going to make some farmer's market peach streusel muffins today. They have a lot of flavor going through them. Try to use the local peaches if you can. A lot of flavor. In Long Island, August is our peach month here. Okay, so we're going to make our crumb topping first. Okay, so the crumb topping, what I did was I, I'm taking two tablespoons of melted butter. And then we're going to take three tablespoons of packed brown sugar and just kind of go against the side of the bowl just like that. Okay, I'm using the light brown sugar. And then a half of a tablespoon of the white sugar. We're going to use a half of a teaspoon of the ground cinnamon. We're also going to put in a third of a cup of the all-purpose flour. Nice and level, just like this. I'm going to put it right in here. Now you could take a fork, you could take a spatula, or you could even take your hands, just kind of mix this up. You just want to make this into a nice crumb topping. Okay, it'll be nice and thick and crumbly. And then we're just going to set this aside. Uh, you're going to set your oven on to 425, and you're going to get about six to seven really nice sized muffins out of this here. So I am just going to put on my gloves, and I'm going to show you a way that you could do it with your hands. So if you take, you have some of the wet butter and then the dry flour and sugar, if you just kind of go like this, almost like your fingers are like a little electric mixer here you're going to get a really nice crumb topping it should not be wet it should be just those nice bakery style crumbs and in a second this will be done and we're just going to leave this right on the side okay make sure you get all that flour on the side of the bowl here perfect and if you don't like peaches don't worry Change it to blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, it will be fine. Okay. So now let's take our quarter of a cup of softened butter. Make sure you take it out about an hour ahead of time. You should be able to kind of put your finger into it just like that. Okay. You don't want melted. Now you want to take your beater, put it on high, and just beat the butter for one minute straight. And then we will add in our sugars. Okay, now that this is beaten for about one minute, we're just gonna take a quarter cup packed brown sugar, add that right into the butter, and then we want two tablespoons of the white sugar. We're gonna beat this for two minutes. We're gonna scrape down the sides. And then we're going to have our egg, yogurt, and vanilla ready to go in. Always try to use the exact ingredients. Yogurt in this is really crucial to make it come out really delicious. Okay, you can use the regular yogurt uh, or the um, Greek yogurt. Either one would be fine. Okay, let's add in our egg now. A lot of beating to this recipe. So we're going to take one egg. Drop that right in the center there. We're going to put in a quarter of a cup of the plain yogurt. Just get this fully incorporated in here. And now one teaspoon of the vanilla extract, the pure. Okay, we're going to beat this on a medium speed for about a minute. Okay, so after the one minute, you turn this up to a high speed just until the mixture is all combined. Okay, and you don't really see any lumps in there. And now we are going to start working on our dry ingredients. I'm going to leave this mixer to the side. Now our dry ingredients is three quarters of a cup 
of flour. So this is a quarter cup, so I'm going to need three of these. And then we're just going to add two tablespoons of the flour as well. Now we're going to add some baking soda, some baking powder. The baking soda, we're going to add a half of a teaspoon. Just make sure it's nice and level. We're going to do the same with the baking powder. Nice and level, just like that. We're going to add some salt in here, about a quarter teaspoon. That way, uh, it will bring out all the different spices, the peaches, the vanilla. Add that right in. We're going to use a quarter teaspoon of the ground cinnamon. Put that right in. And then some of the allspice, you just need an eighth of a teaspoon. So that, that little. Just It's very strong. So you really don't need a lot. So we're just going to take a wire whisk, mix this up really well. So we're going to take our dry ingredients, we're going to add them into our wet, and we're just going to get it to where they are combined. It'll be a nice thick batter. And we're going to have to add in a tablespoon and a half of whole milk. It's very important that you use the whole milk. Okay, don't switch it with uh, half and half or reduce fat because your consistency will come out different, okay? It will be a different muffin than it should be. So that batter looks beautiful just like that. I'm going to add in the tablespoon and a half of whole milk. Just going to get it to where it is combined. You just want to get it to where there's no lumps. Scrape along the side of the bowl. Just bring the batter down. Don't over mix. And just turn this right off. So we're going to take these beaters off because we don't need those any longer. We're going to add in some fresh peaches. The fresh peaches are the best. Typically you will need about two peaches, two really nice large ones. Cut them into smaller pieces. Make sure they're, they're ripe, okay, because you're going to get more sweetness, more really good taste out of it. Remember, you can always switch if you're not a peach fan. Blueberries, strawberries, raspberries. Just pat them dry though. Very important, okay. So I am just going to fold in my peaches that I have already cut. These are absolutely just beautiful peaches. And now just take the batter and just kind of go over it just like this. As soon as it's mixed in, just stop. These will be perfect for like a brunch, great in the morning for a breakfast, or late at night when you need that snack. Okay, this is good. Okay, so we are going to put some muffin liners in here. You could just use some spray. Okay, I'm going to put six to start, but I may need an additional one or maybe even two. Okay, so you're going to take enough batter and fill it all the way up. It's not going to go over. They're only going to get higher. Okay. So I can definitely tell that yeah, we will get eight really good muffins out of this. And don't forget we have to put our crumb topping on it. And then while these are baking, we're going to make a glaze that's going to go right on top of this. Okay, so I ended up getting seven out of this, and now we're going to take our crumb topping and put it right on top. Make sure you get everything out of that bowl, because this is really, really good batter. Okay. 
Now we have our crumbs earlier, so it's always better to make the crumbs earlier. So this way, when you have the batter done, you want to get that in the oven so the baking powder and baking soda start reacting. So put this crumb mixture right on top, just like that. And you can actually just kind of squeeze the batter a little bit and then you get those bigger bakery crumbs. And just kind of evenly distribute it. So make sure you hit each one with a few. And then you can go around and just finish them all up. So this is going to go in a four 25 oven and it's going to go in for five minutes just for 425 and then we're going to reduce it down to 350 and cook it for another 15 to 19 minutes because they're pretty high and by doing that what you do is you kind of form the crust right away and then you're not having that real high temperature that's going to dry it out that's why we reduce it down to 350. Get all these crumbs that are on the side right here Put them right on top, and we're going to put this in the 350 oven for five minutes. Okay, so it's on 425. It's been on for five minutes. Okay, now we are just going to set it at 350, and we're going to let it cook for another 15 to 19 minutes. Take a toothpick to check it to make sure that they cooked all the way through. Put a piece of aluminum foil on the rack above. So while the muffins are in the oven, let's make our glaze. All you need is a half a cup of the powdered sugar. Okay, it doesn't have to be packed, but kind of level. You're going to take two tablespoons of heavy cream. This, if you don't have the heavy cream, or you have half and half, or just the whole milk, that would be fine too. I always suggest put in one tablespoon first, and you can always add a little bit more. You're going to add a half teaspoon of the vanilla extract. And now we're just going to take a whisk. And if it's too much flour still left, we're going to add in our other tablespoon. You just don't want to add too much because then it's too thin and you want it to be a nice glaze that's going to go over the muffin. Okay. So this is the way you would like it, okay, perfect. So this is ready for when the muffins come out of the oven and they have cooled. Okay, so the muffins ended up taking about 17 minutes in the 350 oven. They are a very large muffin, so expect to get at least the seven out of it. Look at the size of this, and those beautiful crumbs on there. So make sure these are nice and cool before you do put your glaze on. They will freeze really good, but they probably will not make it to the freezer. Just make sure you squeeze all of the air out. I'm just going to take a little bit of the glaze, so it depends uh, how sweet you really like it. So just kind of drizzle just a little bit. Just kind of put little blotches of it on here. Okay. Just kind of hit it around. If it's a little thick, uh, it's not just going to go on so easy, so you could hit, hit it with just another splash of the cream if you like. But this is really going to hold on really well. Okay, so just kind of move it around just a little bit so it kind of covers it all. So it's not too sweet in just one area. Pick these up, show you what they look like. I hope you will enjoy these with your family and friends. Thank you for always watching the classes and I hope you make these soon. Bye-bye. <music>